Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. I tell you, we really don't get movies like this anymore. Murder on the Orient Express is a compelling, beautifully shot and acted murder mystery that does not rely on special effects or superpowers, but instead relies on craft, pure craft, to entertain its audience. In short, it's a movie for mature grown-ups. And if you are one of those, and you don't get your butt out to the theater to see this when it's released on November 10th, well, then you don't get to complain anymore that they don't make them like they used to, because here it is, folks, and it's about as well done as you can get. Murder on the Orient Express is, of course, an adaptation of the classic murder mystery by Agatha Christie, and it is not the first version of this tale, so many of you may already know the identity of the killer, but for those that don't, I won't even come close to spoiling it here, so don't worry. Suffice it to say, the movie follows Christie's classic Belgian detective Hercule Poirot as he travels on a fully loaded train through snowy Eastern Europe. And when I say fully loaded, I could be talking about the cast here too, beginning with director Kenneth Branagh, who is absolutely delightful as the eccentric but brilliant Poirot. There's also his frequent collaborator Derek Jacoby, Dame Judi Dench, Tony winner for Hamilton, Leslie, wait for it, Odom Jr. Then there's Ray, Olaf, Catwoman, Jack Sparrow, Jesus Christ. I mean Willem Dafoe, he played Jesus Christ in The Last Temptation of Christ. There are a lot of fine actors in this cast, and they all do fine, restrained work to carry the story along in what amounts to a series of conversations that only escalate in tension. You see, somewhere in the mountains of Yugoslavia, the train hits a snowdrift which strands the entire party on the tracks with a dead body and, of course, a murderer on the train. Now it's up to the genius detective to solve the murder before the tracks can be cleared and the train can get back underway. Like I said, the biggest attribute of the film is its craft, starting with its classic story, and I've already touched on how great the acting is. I should also point out that Johnny Depp is not playing a pasty-faced, eccentric misfit with a strange manner of speech here. Therefore, it's the most grounded performance I've seen from him in years. But damn if this movie isn't stylish. Beautiful photography and opulent production design, everything down to the costumes just looks great. Director Kenneth Branagh positions his camera with a true artist's eye. There is a great tracking shot, for example, as the train is preparing to depart that introduces both the train compartment and the characters with efficiency and grace. You know very quickly that you are in the hands of a master cinematic storyteller, and this movie just keeps rationing up the tension until its classic brilliant detective monologue where all of the characters are gathered in the same room and the lead detective lays out his argument that is immensely satisfying even though you have seen it literally hundreds of times before. There's no violent crescendo, no action climax like a chase scene or anything, but in the way it is designed, shot, acted, and edited, it makes the scene thrilling nonetheless. I award Murder on the Orient Express an extra large bag of popcorn. Kenneth Branagh, who has been interpreting classics for his entire career, makes a smooth transition from Shakespeare to Agatha Christie, and I personally would be thrilled if he continued along this new path and adapted even more Poirot mysteries. The ending even has a sly reference that implies he may do just that. Even those that know the ending will find themselves carried away by the stylish execution of the classic story, and those that have never heard of the original will be delighted even more by the surprises of the story and the characterization of Poirot. This is classic escapist entertainment delivered by a director, a cast, and a crew that are all masters of their respective crafts. What a refreshing change of pace coming as it does on the one week between releases of major, mega-budgeted superhero movies, Murder on the Orient Express delivers a sublime series of earthbound thrills that will provide mature, intellectual cinephiles everything they could possibly ask for. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Murder in the Orient Express in the comments as well, so let me have it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I am probably the greatest detective in the world.